Hey guys, welcome to the video where today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make iceberg slime. This is the third time I make iceberg slime in my channel and basically I'm making it for the third time because in my last one it was quote unquote a success but not really because I've seen other people make iceberg slime and theirs comes out like crunchy and crispy at the top and bubbly and mine wasn't like that. So this time I'm going to be retrying it but this time it will be different. So the things we'll be needing are some hand soap. Foaming hand soap is preferred because you will get better results with that. But if you don't have it, then you can use hand, just normal hand soap. Some food coloring is optional. Something to mix with some glue and something to mix in. I'm using just a bowl. You will also be needing some cornstarch or baby powder. Shaving cream or shaving foam and slime activator. I'm using borax and water, but there will be a link down below on how I made my slime activator. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna be needing is your hand soap, and you're gonna be pouring a little bit in. And we're gonna be trying to make this um, foaming hand soap. So what I did is just adding, I added in some water and I mixed it all up, so we can get some bubbles there. And we can get better results. So then get your glue and just pour in as much as you want and then mix it all up. So I really wanted this to work so I'm putting in a bunch of hand soap which you'll see later on. So the next thing you want to do is add in your shaving cream. Now you want to add in a lot like literally try making it either um, the same shaving cream as your glue or even twice as much as that. Because you really, really want this to be fluffy so it can work. The next thing is optional. You can add in some cornstarch and baby powder. You will definitely get better results using the cornstarch and baby powder. And then I'm mixing it up really slowly because I don't want any of it, of it to drop. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm adding in more hand soap. Because I really, really wanted this to work. And I'm just mixing it up. Okay, so the next step is adding your food coloring. I'm using red so you can turn pink. And I'm just going to mix that up. The next thing you want to do is adding your slime activator. You can use any slime activator you want. And once you're done, just knead it. Until it's not sticky like this. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to put this in a container that has no lid and it's open because you want it to dry up from the top and you want to leave this out for two to three days the more you leave it out the better and the crunchier it would be just don't leave it in for that long or else it might just dry out a lot that it's not even gonna break anymore so yeah i'll be back when three days have passed bye Okay guys, so right now this is um, me, right here. I'm just so excited to break this. As you can see, it looks way different than my last two iceberg slimes. So yeah, let's get started on breaking it.
So that was it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. This finally became a success after two tries, actually after three times of trying. And I also just wanted to say, I'm sorry for not posting many videos lately. The thing is, I have this really big project that is due on Monday that I really, I really need to get a good grade on because it will affect my grade a lot. And basically, that's it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. So yeah.